Welcome to this tut video tutorial for installing, configuring, and using the TrueSight Self-Monitoring Knowledge module. During this video, you are going to see how to download and install the TrueSight Self-Monitoring Knowledge module, or KM, create a policy for the KM to monitor an environment, and begin to view the self-monitoring results. Note, you should have the TrueSight Self-Monitoring KM already downloaded from the BMC Electronic Product Distribution or EPD website and saved in an accessible location. To begin, log into the TrueSight console. In the TrueSight console, open the navigation pane and select Administration Repository from the menu. As a prerequisite to the following instructions, you must have already downloaded the monitoring solution into the TrueSight console. So now we will install the KM. In the Deployable Packages tab, select Create Deployable Package. Select the operating system and platform that is relevant for your system. From the Solutions list, select TrueSight Self-Monitoring version 1.0.00 and also select Oracle GRE version 1.8 or later and click Next. The KM requires an Oracle GRE version 1.8 or later and you can install the GRE now in the default Patrol Home folder. Use the default installation location for the self-monitoring KM or enter a different directory and click Next. Then specify the Patrol 3x direct product directory and click Next. In the Installation Package Details window, the name of for the deployable package is required. A description and format are optional details. The default file format for the operating system is automatically selected, but you can select a different format if required. Now you can save the KM and download it later or save and download it immediately. Click Save and Download to save the package, package and download it immediately. To save the package for future installation on the current host or hosts, click Save. You can deploy the saved packages to the patrol agent or upgrade the patrol agent using the TrueSight console. With the KM package installed on the host, you need to deploy it to an agent. To deploy the KM on an agent, you must have a device host with an operating system that matches the KM type that you just deployed. From the TrueSight console menu, go to Configuration, Manage Devices. Click on the relevant Manage Devices action menu and select Deploy and Install Packages. The Deploy and Install Packages box only displays packages that are relevant for your operating system. Select the package you want to deploy and click Deploy and Install and Install. You can select multiple packages in this box if you like. The KM is now deployed on the agent. Click the Refresh button on the TrueSight console to see the updated deployment status. After the TrueSight self-monitoring KM deployment is successful, you configure a monitoring policy. From the console menu, select Configuration Infrastructure Policies and click on the Monitoring tab and click Create Policy. For the policy's general properties, you must enter a name for the policy and a precedence number that determines the priority of the policy. Based on the precedence number that you configure, the policy is applied to the patrol agents and the infrastructure management servers. Also, be sure to enable the policy. For the agent selection criteria, you must define conditions to select the patrol agents on which you want the, to apply the policy. You can click on Preview to confirm that the host system is discovered based on the patrol agent criteria that you entered. Click Add Monitoring Configuration and select TrueSight Self-Monitoring for the monitoring solution, profile, and type. If you downloaded the Oracle Java package with the KM, you can leave this field blank if the GRE is in the TrueSight's default patrol home folder. Otherwise, enter a path for the GRE location that you want to use. You can leave the local operating system credentials empty and the system will use the credentials of the patrol user. Click Add to configure the environment. For the, for the environment configuration details, enter the following parameters for the presentation server or load balancer server used in a high availability system. An environment name. The TrueSight host name. This is an FQDN or IP. The default protocol is HTTPS. The port number used to communicate with the server. The username and password for the server. The SSL certificate you 
path be used to communicate with the presentation server load balancer server. If this is left blank, the KN uses the default TrueSight certificate. You must know the protocol and port number used during the TrueSight installation during the environment configuration. You can also enter high availability details if applicable and KM administration options if required. See the configuration after installation information in the documentation for more information. Click OK to save the environment configuration and OK and close. Next, click on the server tab. These details specify actions to be performed on the infrastructure management server when the policy that was just configured is applied. Enter a unique group name and select Add Associated Devices to the group. Click Save. To see the result of the configuration steps, select Monitoring Devices. Select the agent that was entered when we configured the monitoring policy. In the Devices details, select the Monitors tab and you will see all of the monitoring solutions associated with the device. Select the True Site Self Monitoring policy that we configured. In the monitor details, you will see the monitoring details that the self-monitoring policy has discovered. 